Meet Peter Rowe, an interesting professional visual artist who combines international travel with photography to produce fascinating mixed media artwork. When I was at secondary school, the uh, area that I was uh, best at was art, so I just carried that forward. Went on to the Victorian College of the Arts, did five years there, and then uh, just continued painting, developing my style to the point where I'm producing uh, uh, a whole range of paintings that you would probably classify as mixed media with collage, incorporating pencil and uh, acrylic paint. Currently uh, working on MDF board. You start off with a blank piece of board, cover it with some undercoat, hit it with some, uh, some red just to give a little bit of warmth to the colour that fits on top, work out the design, draw that down which is loosely a landscape and then uh, from there start uh, working with collage and then the, uh, the pencil is the last thing that I do to the work. Uh, I've been very uh, fortunate to have travelled uh, quite extensively and when I travel I take a whole range of photographs. And in those photographs I use them as collage, tear them up into a whole range of shapes. Now other people would take photographs, print them and then keep them as treasures. Yes. <laughs> you don't do that, do you? Well actually no, it's a little bit different in that regard. I take a really nice photograph and then I tear it up. So. Uh, uh, I've had many hundreds and hundreds of photographs, all of which have been torn into many thousands of, of smaller pieces of paper, which have been different shapes, circles, ellipses, uh, rectangles, you name it. I've probably uh, torn my photographs up into those shapes and reconstituted them into uh, my own personal landscape. Some of the images I've used have been aerial views of the uh, uh, Great Barrier Reef. There was a lovely close-up of a chocolate from uh, Abu, Abu Dhabi. Uh, also close-ups of grills of cars, all sorts of things uh, I use. Cakes in uh, the Begal area of Paris. Just love the cakes there, the colour and the texture and the, the, uh, the design. So anything I can find that's visually really exciting and really interesting, capture that uh, with my camera print it and collage it and build it into one of my works. And there might be a, a grid of uh, red spots. So I'll get a whole range of red sections from the photographs, tear them into spots and then they'll be glued down. Other areas, it may be the, uh, the leaf or the smoke or the flame shapes and I may want a, some fairly strong blues so I'll tear those up into those shapes, ranging in size from fairly small and thin through to much larger and then build those into the design as well. Lots of drawings, lots of sketches, uh, preliminary uh, thoughts on paper. Tried dozens and dozens until I get to a point where I think, yep, this, this could work. Then with that idea, develop that, grow it, try, put some colour into it, see how the colour works, and then uh, translate it onto the larger size and build the piece from there. When it's in my mind, it's always a masterpiece and then it's always a challenge to get that down onto the, onto the board the way that I, uh, I think of it when I'm planning it out. So I'm working with the environment, sort of taking images that I really like and then bringing them into my works, reconstituting them and creating a, a completely new environment based on energy, colour, action and movement. The way I'm doing it is probably a little bit different to the way others work on it, but uh, nevertheless the importance of the environment is very much there and I, I use the environment around me, different aspects of it, and synthesise trees and man-made objects, the landscape, build all of those images together into uh, a different sort of environment and landscape. When I'm in a different country and I see something that gives me a real buzz, I capture that image, bring it home with me and uh, it will eventually be built into a painting. And I never quite know where it's going to work or, or what time it will come through, but I know that I store it away and that it might be a particular uh, range of shapes or colours or lines or uh, really interesting combination of uh, elements of a landscape and then eventually that will be built into a painting. 
I think when you get a, a good understanding of what I'm doing, uh, you appreciate that there's many different aspects to what I do. There's the travel, the capturing of images, uh, the tearing with the, the soft edge to get the white halo around the different colour combinations in the image. Then there's the building together with the uh, uh, very soft edges on the paint, with the soft edges on the colour collage, colour theory and line, and the building of a, a new uh, environment with those different mixed mediums. I absolutely love colour theory, building dyads, triads, tetrads, different colour combinations into what I do, activating areas through strong combinations of colour, diffusing other areas and settling them back. Uh, it's designed with colour, with collage and mixed media, it's, uh, it's a real buzz. I suppose the definition of happiness is to be allowed to do what you want to do. You're a happy man. Yes. I wish I had more time to be happier. <laughs> and that would be a good place to be.